Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Uh, the mat is really dirty, that's not skin cells. <laughs> I promise. It's, it's from all the packs, I swear it's little things. Uh, and not my crummy little fingers, I mean, you see them on my videos, my crummy little fingers. Anyway, we're doing this today. We're counting the gold. Oh, and I was thinking, oh, they put a note on it. Sweet. Uh, I was thinking, ooh, and they're giving us another card. Thank you so much for your order, Jake. Hey, Jake, thank you. Um, and this is a good card to keep, by the way. You can practice palming. That's what I do with all the ad cards that I get. Uh, cool. I don't know what deck this is from. Yeah, and I was thinking about this deck. You already know what it is because of the uh, the thumbnail. Ooh, that looks really good, Sullivan. But the tuck is mad, isn't it? Ooh. Photo op with? No, nah, let's do it without. Anyways, um, I was thinking El Dorado, uh, which is like the city of gold, right? Um, and I got the, uh, I did not get the original, I got the Overrun edition, which I think is the same as the regular edition. Um, and I wanted to get this. I, I was in a video call that he was in, uh, for a club and he showed up and I was like, Hey, it's that dude, <laughs> Jackson Robinson. What are you doing here? And, uh, he showed this, he's like, yeah, I'm working on this. And I was like, Whoa, that looks amazing. Uh, and then the deck came out, and it was like $300, and I was like, I can't afford that right now. <laughs> but then the overruns came out, and that one was in my range. Anyways, uh, but the reason, I, one of the things I want to talk about is, there's another deck, this one, which has a very similar color. This is one of my favorite King's Wilds deck. By the way, if you want to fast forward, I'm going to open the deck in a bit. I'm going to tell you a story real quick, because I got this in, the, uh, in one of these, a golden ticket in this deck. I remember I opened it, and I was like, what? And this is a... Oh wait, was it in this one? Oh no, it wasn't in this one. It was in the black, uh, the double, the dub, the take backs. Anyways, this is still a really good game, a really good game, a really good uh, deck of cards. And um, this ticket came from a different one, the other one, the one after it, I think. But what I ended up doing was trading this. I don't know if you know about this. You send it in, and you get like a deck, a gilded deck. It's like twenty-five of them or something. It's like a really small number. And they sent me the deck, and the deck I. Put it up for auction on socalplaincards.com. And uh, the deck went for like, and you're like, what are you doing? I'm going to show you what I got with it. Because I traded, <laughs> I traded it and it got a Charizard. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's, the deck went for so much. It was like, what? So yeah, I was like, you know what? What a good trade. A deck of cards for a Charizard. I like cards like that. Anyways, and I'm going to start doing videos on that if you're interested, uh, but right now we're talking about this, because my next deck is inspired by that, uh, and you'll see that in a second, or not in a second, in the future, you'll see it. I'll, I'm almost done with it. Um, I've been really busy with, with life and work, and I had a big, um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so life changes, and, uh, and uh, did I just lose steam? <laughs> It's all energetic. Yeah, you're, you have a friend like that, you go out and you're like hanging out and then you just like, you guys just, you lose steam and it's just like the energy just dies and everyone gets quiet. Anyways, that's not happening right now. Anyways, but yeah, I haven't had time to show it. Uh, I took the video down too, because I'm changing it up. But that looks amazing. That looks so good. I love this stuff. Oh, I love this color too. And the cards are this color, I think. And the, you know what? Even though this, it doesn't feel like an overrun to me, it feels cool. Dude, that is awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not like, you're not like, oh, you're going to get you're gonna get a crappier deal. Nah, 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 come on. All right, check it out. Designed by Jackson Robinson, distributed by King's Wild Project, United States of America. Uh, that's where I live. Uh, Maine, USA, Cleveland, Tennessee. I don't live in Cleveland. Um, I live in Texas. Dude, that's tight. Look at that. I can barely get the knife in there. This is like it was like ancient, the ancient bricks. <laughs> You're like, shut up. Just open the deck, dude. I will. I'm going. I'm going. If I cut myself. All right. I don't want to mess up this tuck. Yeah, that was easy. Cool. He's doing the number 13. Um, oh, yeah. He does the first Thessalonians 411 there, which is a Bible verse. All right. And of course, see, this is why the sticky, guys. And another one. See? If you're watching any of my other videos, you see that I I'm always harping on the on the on the card. That's why you see a lot of cardistry decks don't come with a seal. This is not a cardistry deck though. 
This is a collector's deck <laughs> and a poker deck. Or, you know, whatever else you want to do with it. You could do Carter Street. Um, oh, okay, so I think it's like this. When I saw this, I thought it meant that this person was alive and then they died and they're in heaven now and the moon is sad. Is that true? Is that what it is? I'm guessing, because that's kind of like the story that I read. Like, happy moon, person there with a bunch of cards. Person goes away, there's a star. There's a sad moon. You know, that's how I read it. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got, ooh, we got a cool ad card. This was, this was released last year. Ooh, look at the back of that. We'll look at the back in a second. Come on, come on. And a QR code that's... For a deeper look into the inspiration. Oh, he sent an email about this. There's like another deck, which is pretty cool too. Original one. Look at the back design. That's what got me. That looks so good. It's classy, right? It reminds me of like when Jade was a big deal. Like I remember when I was growing up, I'd go to these um, um, antique shops and you see this color. There was like a season in the past, in antiquity, um, where people like that stuff. Ace of Spades is epic. I love it when the ace is like, I'm the best card. <laughs> nice, ooh, custom pips, custom indices, of course, he always does custom. I don't think he's doing the same courts he always does. He has a set of courts that's actually in the deck I just showed you, which are, um, yeah, he's not. These are different. These are the classic ones. Man, these look good. Man, I love quartz like this. Look at that dude's face. You know he gets the fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> With the chicken. Oh, it's scramps. All right. I know that doesn't make sense to you. It makes sense to me. <laughs> I love the diamonds when the diamonds are like have soft edges like that. So good. Oh, look at this guy. You can trust that guy. <laughs> Chin action. All right, cool. I'm I'm starting to run out of jokes. There's the clubs. If you watch my channel, you know that uh, I kind of say the same things over and over again. I'm kind of a one-trick pony. Um, cool. So they're pretty standard. They look very hand-drawn. I like that. And I'm going to feel them in a second. Um, by the way, I saw why the sword is behind the guy's head. It was because it used to be down... And everyone knew the sword was always there. And over time, they tried to just fit it in. It was never like a suicide. They started calling it the suicide um, uh, king, but it's actually not. It's just that the the um, the arm bends back like that. Uh, over time, they try to fit it in. I've seen a few video. I've seen videos on it and like people talking about it. Uh, you know, you can't trust that guy. Again, one of my other inside jokes. That's kind of a new joke. I'm just trying it out. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's fill the cards. Ooh, man, it look crazy. I've been telling y'all, colored borders is this year's thing. You're gonna see a lot of colored borders like that. Uh, usually, like I think two years ago, this this deck maybe I'm guessing they would have done white borders on it. Uh, white borders are really good for magic. They're really good for like, you know, if you use the cards a lot, you get chips and stuff. Um, the cards don't. Um, you don't see the, you know, if one card is more chipped than another, uh, you know it's the Ace of Spades or whatever, you know what I mean? Oh, that's that's the Jack of Diamonds because it has that usual scuff, like, by the corner or whatever. Anyway, some people pe people think you mark the deck. They feel really good. They feel soft. They're gummy. Nah, not too gummy. But they're soft. Um, yeah, really cool. The Eldorado deck. Uh, and this is the Overrun Edition. Uh, King's Wild Project, and I can feel that if I break these in, come on, focus. Um, these will get really soft. They have really soft, like almost like recycled paper uh, along the edge here. Could be the ink, you know? Uh, and it looks like modern cut from the, um, the shuffle there. Anyways, that's the video for this beautiful deck. Uh, I love the box. Man, I love this box. So good. God bless all of you. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And I have more stuff coming that I'm excite, really excited about. Like things are just falling into place for this new deck I'm working on. And I can't wait to show y'all because it's more than just a deck. It's so cool. I, I'm i pumping it up more than I should. I think it's cool. <laughs> y'all are right to see and go, what is this? I'll show you soon. It's coming. This very soon. Anyways, God bless all of y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.